Hello everyone, and welcome back to Paper Mario the Origami King. Last time, we made our way to the hotel and entered a professor's room. Now we have to find said professor, so we can read the geoglyphs around the area. I'm not sure if they're actually called geoglyphs, I just remember that from Breath of the Wild, not Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, and... Yeah, close enough. Can you believe that guy surfing in the fountain? Where'd that board even come from? That's a toad. Oh. Well, first off, can I open this? Yes. We're gonna be searching everywhere. Hey, I thought something might be interested among this mess. It's not the front desk. But what? It might be interested among this mess. It's at the front. What do you mean by that? Also, I can go out here. Is this how I get that one question block? Hold on, I remember seeing this. Yes! A thousand coins and, uh. Nothing else. I just have to walk in the front entrance again. I mean, it's right there and it's a free 1,000 coins. I can go to the left as well. There's another gate over there. And there's a toad over here. Uh, Mario's not even touching the toad. How is he pulling it? Wait, have I been missing a pull party? Just pull me back up, Mario. Oh, wait. <laughs> He's a toad, so he's scared of water. Not toad, he's paper, so he's scared of water, and he, he wants to miss the pool party. Even though the water is made out of paper, too. That's right, this is not the hyper-realistic water that the water elemental spits out. It's paper water. Oh, that's locked. And anyway, I was told there was something at the front desk that interests me. Let me go check the front desk. You just need lobby piece, keeper. Thanks for your help with the front desk, sniff it, remove his posture tasteful, and may have rolled around on the bed a little bit. Don't worry, it happens all the time. Oh, that reminds me, your colleague was asking after a particular trinket we had on display. Didn't want to sell to him, but he simply insisted, so I may have charged a bit more than it's worth. I'm feeling bad about that, so why don't you take another one for free? A sun intense? So it's like the warm rays of the sun. Ah, I feel better. Thank you for that. Now, if you're still looking to meet up with your friend, he went off some... He went off happily somewhere, I'm afraid. We don't offer... Calm juice services? But you may want to check in with the desert help kiosk attendant in town so you don't get lost. Got it, I... No, uh, should we check the desert? I'm gonna... Yeah. It... That doesn't appear there. What is... No, I want to open my inventory. Hold on, wait, where does it appear? Useful items? Oh, so it's t tied in with, like, things we can only use in certain situations. Got it, that's important for the story. I wanted to know what that was. Oh, wait, we can jump over here. Why is there Ollie tape in here? Oh, well, at least we can get through. Oh, gosh, that's why there's Ollie tape in here! I was like, nope, exit out of the battle, and then just smack him in the face with a hammer. That should not be that funny, but we can use the thousand fold arms here to turn this thing. It's very gimmicky. There we go. Turns off the water. Aw oh, man, what happened to my wave? Eh, I found surfing was played out anyway. I'm gonna go back to my room and invent stub surfing. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Anyway, save this guy. Surfing isn't as fun when you're the board. Well, that's all behind me. I'm free. Free to pursue a lifer. No one can take advantage of me again. I was actually here for our conference on investigating something about the pyramids in this area. Ah, uh, but you don't want to hear about that scheme. Here, take this. Just a small token of my gratitude. Oh, we get a life apart for this. Plus ten, too. That's, yeah, definitely go grab that. It's not that hard to do. You just have to, like, jump over a small area and then, like, hit something, I think. I just did it, actually. Why am I, how'd I forget already? Anyway, there's a sign here. 
Under construction, why is there an L on that? Oh well, I'm sure it won't have any importance to the story. Oh, there's a toad over here somewhere. Found the toad. I felt like a flower, but I looked like a weed. Story of my life. Uh, not sure how that's the story of your life, but sure. Real quick, I'm able to tell there's a toad just right up here somewhere, but I don't know exactly where. Let's go see if I can save that guy real quick. Or do I have to wait for the staircase to be built? I don't think I can make this jump. Yeah, you can't. Can't get over there either, so I just kind of wasted a bit of time. I'm sure that staircase or will get fixed either eventually, or that one will get, like, unblocked off, or... Aha! Invisible block! I noticed there was just some, like, oddly shaped staircases there. Or they looked like they could have been staircases, at least. I never gave up hope. Not even when you passed by without seeing me 347 times. Really? That many times? I didn't think it would be that many. There's still another toad, though. It's probably gonna be in one of these pots. No! One of these? Not in the tree. Behind here somewhere, maybe. You know, I have no idea where this toad is. Time to use this thing! I, I still don't fully understand how it works. Aha! Let's deactivate this because it takes up a lot of battery. But in there... I did not know that was there! Is everything just like flashing green and purple in front of your eyes or is it just me? Yeah, maybe uh, go rest your eyes for a bit. Let's go grab that block because I did not know it was there. Oh! That's where this is. Dang, nice hammer swing, Mario. Thanks, Toad. Right, uh... There's just so many things around here that I don't even, like, have a need to cut. I'm just finding one thing after another. Actually, can I walk up the stairs? Thank you. There, I don't, yeah, I don't think there's one over there. It's too tall for that. Really, there's still another toad? Alright, we gotta find this guy. Oh wait, actually, I bet he's on the roof of this thing. Yeah, I can see a hole up there. Alright, I'm gonna take one attempt to try to get on top of that thing, and if I can't do it, I can't do it. So yeah, if only you could like, you, if only this was the original Paper Mario where you could just summon a bomb infinite times with your partner, but nope. I do need to check something for this though. Hidden block alert. There is one around here somewhere. We have no way of detecting it though. Wait, it's over this way? I'm sorry if it's taking a while, I'm just doing a bunch of secret hunting. I'm I am also gonna keep that thing on the toad sensor though. Right up here. Is this it? No. Where is this thing? I'm getting it around here. I can't see over there, so I don't think it'd be over there. Is it talking referring to that one over there? No. Maybe it is. Hold on. It's like right here somewhere. Hmm. I, I have an idea where it might be if there is one. But I highly doubt it. Yeah. Unless, hold on. Oh, hold on, give me a minute. 
Actually, I can just test it right here. Nope, no hidden bridge. My thought was there's a hidden bridge across there, but I don't think there is, at least. Yeah, I'm not getting anything up here, at least. Oh, well, we can figure it out later, unless it's... Oh, there! With that, I can... I know it's around here. I'll get it in a sec, after we get the power block. Alright, let's use this, then. It makes my controller vibrate when we get closer. Let's, wait, it's not down there? Oh, it's in there! I was just overlooking things a lot, huh? Ah, uh, thank you for that. I was stuck in there for so long, I had to resort to sublicional marketing techniques. I'm in the shop next door. Please come buy something. I mean, sure. Why not? Welcome to the Shroom City Stop. This guy sells flashy boots, flashy hammers, flashy iron boots, shiny mushroom three pack, ice flower, and the City Royal Hotel. I don't think I can afford that hotel yet, but I do need it later. Even if I were to use my uh, past badge thing. For now, let's go looking for this professor then. Good day, Key Holder. As a guest of the hotel, you're welcome to use this exclusive door to Scorching Sandpaper Far West. Oh, we can go this way then. New area in that case. Also, I don't remember. Have we gone over Spinies yet? I really can't remember. I, I don't think we have. No, I think we have actually. First off, don't break these blocks without hitting that, because that's all of them. Shiny Iron Hammer collected. Furthermore, more over here. Nothing in there. You're going to walk? No, I... I just want to do a little bit. We have, like, this cactus looks kind of, kind of like it's dancing. Okay, that was apparently a puzzle for something later. Same there. What in the world is this puzzle? Wait, we all saw booze apparently. Oh, another one of those lanky guys. There will always be a save block next to them, it seems. <laughs> Use Ram the Boo. Fill in the hole here. That's all non bottomless holes here. Oh, wait, in the far west. Each one has a different area, apparently. That's kind of odd. Can I ram these small things? Yes, and there's a toad underneath. Who oh, thanks for that. I'm still in Scorching Sandpaper Far West. I am, right? I heard there are some neat ruins to check out here too, so it's just like it's just like that big tower is so popular to take the road less travel. All the toads in the far west. Why this place counts as its own area? I don't know, but it does. I'm also guessing we can check out the far right then. Good day, key holder? Yes! Oh, Far East. I, I know my directions, honest, really. Alright, we have a bunch of spiny... Oh, no. We're keeping an eye on the two that are... What we want. I don't think we actually can do that yet. I will need to wait on some, something. I don't actually know where this professor is. Ah, thanks. Hey, what do you think they built those huge towers for anyway? Like, were they just meant to be a cool background for selfies, or... Cell phones exist here? I mean, I guess, like, EGAD made 
like a DS that can use wireless that basically acts as a cell phone in Luigi's Mansion. But it's odd to me that like cell phones just straight up exist. Yeah, and these areas all do individually count as like separate for bottomless holes and toads. Got it. Can't do the toes here yet, and I have an idea where we need to go, so I'll see you then. Oh, uh, new area. I did not mean to come here. Oh, I'll run. But we have paper mache booze. Oh, there's a chest right there. Can I? I don't think I can get behind the booze, unfortunately. So I can't do anything there. No, anyway, this is not where I'm meant to go. I, but I am gonna show it off since I'm here. I can't bust through that, really. So you can bust through some walls, but not all of them. I just want that treasure chest I can see right now. I don't know if it's actually possible to get here, so I we are going to be coming back here later. Oh, what the? We got some snakes, though. Mario Charmed, I'm sure. I'm not a snake charmer, that's, that's someone else's job. Oh, it's you! I thought maybe you were a, the snake catcher. Are snake catchers a thing? I mean, you have those guys that play the flutes to attract snakes, so... I don't know. Ow. Right, you know what? You can get hit with that real quick. Because we got Paper Macho Boo! I don't know how to outrun those guys. Oh, wait. Yeah, you just have to look at them, don't you? Anyway, we don't know how to get through there, so... Because we're gonna go come to this area later, I will go find the actual area I'm meant to be going. As soon as I actually show you where this place is, because I haven't done that yet. Uh, after I say this stuff, there's just a lot of stuff happening today, isn't there? So we're east, right? Supposed to be touring some stylish ancient walls around here, but now I can't find them. They're just to your right. Or the camera's right, at least. I don't know if it's your right. Anyway, as to where this place is, just right here. Hard to really miss. Anyway, I think you need to meet him over here? Maybe? I should get a save here? Um, yeah, there's a sign I should... That's gonna be here. Yeah, that is it. Well, this is the biggest bowl of oatmeal I've ever seen. Somebody out here sure loves their breakfast. <laughs> oh wait, this is Sam. So what's the thing for anyway? Should we try putting something here? We actually have two rows of this stuff. Manhole hook. No, I'm not sure that'll do anything. Any other ideas? Uh... That'll work eventually. Sun intense. We got this thing and I'm guessing this is what it's for. How we light it? I don't know. Oh, it's smoking. And the smoke is so fragment. It smells like a sunny day. How does that have a smell? Ah, it's like we're just laying out in the sun without a care in the world. I guess that works. It's a really breezy sunny day. Oh. Our car! No! Oh, okay, the car's fine. Oh no, it's a sandstorm. Are we trapped? I'm scared, Mario. What's gonna happen next? Oh, look at those spikes, but that's not too bad. Maybe it's just a cool cactus. Hi, cactus! Uh, that's a paper macho enemy, isn't it? Yep. The world's largest spiny. Ah, who am I kidding? 
This isn't good. This is Olivia's first giant paper macho boss battle. Ah, uh, this is a boot carnival. But... Ah, it's too close to summon. Right. Let's get in. We're barely fat. I don't know if we're actually fast enough to dodge this thing normally. But it does 25 damage. Yeah, this thing is, is quite strong. Can't hit it when it's yellow. I'm sitting behind it for when it doesn't become yellow. But that's all it takes to get rid of the bottom layer and a free healing. 50 health too. Yeah, we, we should be fine. It can create tornadoes though, apparently. I mean, it created this giant sandstorm, so that does make sense, Run. I need to wait for it to face plant again. Perfect. Oh, never mind. Not perfect. It can roll. Just don't stop boosting and you'll be fine. Then we grab this 50 healing heart just to heal 1 HP. All right, it's gonna it's appearing over there now. Got it. Rod. Oh gosh, tornadoes. Uh, I th it was super cinematic, so I thought I'd have to do some kind of button challenge. Oh, I do, I do, I do! Nope. We only have two segments left. I should start running. Anyway, only the head left. But what's it going to do? I know in some games it can summon, like, more segments. Wait, it can roll. Got it. So, in terms of difficulty, I'd say this is about as difficult as... I mean, it's easier than the first one. Ah, I missed it. I was a second late with that. Follow it, wait for it to do its head bonk attack. One, I think it does three of these. Two. Three, no, four? Two to four or five, okay, yeah. Come on, get on top, and hit it! And that's all it took. I thought it was gonna engage in like another phase where we just have to hit it normally. Whoa, look at that weird chunk of confetti. Yeah, the colors match and everything. I'm saved, oh thank you. You were eaten by a cactus? What was it like? Well, all things considered, it could have been worse. Wait! Who are you? I've never seen anything like you. Are you one of the ancient ones? Tell me! Ancient little Amiya? <laughs> no, I'm just Olivia. Nice to meet you. And what's going on with, this, with the altar? Who did this? Yes, it seems the ancient rituals were observed correctly. Uh, just got it. So the ancient rituals place down a small sun and tints on a big altar and then fight a giant cactus. Got it. Well, you can read that writing? Well, of course. I'm a professor of ancient studies. This is written by the language of the ancient ones. Studying it is my life's work. Yes, we finally found a translator. Now, can you tell us what all this means? Oh, I'm so excited to have a professor helping us now. Oh, but before you begin, who are the Ancient Ones anyway? Well, the Ancient Ones are people who existed in the geographical region a long time ago. Legend has it that one of these Ancient Ones still survives today. I've been seeking this person for quite some time. See, I've dedicated my, light, my career to learning more about the ancient civilization based in this desert. I mean, I know about an Ancient One in another game. That said... I don't think this is Final Fantasy, so... 
One day, I hope to unearth a legendary figure from those times. In the ancient texts, he is known simply as Captain Teod. Captain Teod? Am I saying it right? Is it Captain Titan Teod or Captain Teod? Your research sounds very complicated, Professor. Hey, wasn't there, like, uh... If I remember correctly, or this might just be... Actually, I'll, I'm not going to say it because I might be spoilers if I'm not remembering correctly, but I will check in between episodes. But we've got a complicated problem, too. That streamer in the desert. Wait, can you come with us to help translate the mysterious writing? That might help a lot. Well, according to my research, there may be extensive evidence about Captain Teod hidden in the desert. As a matter of fact, I was including my conducting research on this very altar when I was consumed. There's a not in zero chance that I may be er, consumed again if I continue alone. And not just by my research. Ah, but with Mario by my side, my survival might be more assured. Oh, I digress and bladder. I accept your offer. Perhaps together we shall yet solve the mystery of the uh, mysterious Captain Teod. Great! Oh, this is getting to... This is exciting! Getting to work with an actual professor! Yes, yes. Don't get too excited. Much of our time is merely spent on covering the incredible ancient relics and being chased by our adversaries. Now, I noticed some ancient writing on the second floor of my hotel. That might help us. They may have a clue about your streamer as well. Wow, you're already helping so much. Maybe you can even re-explain all that complicated stuff you just said along the way. I kind of spaced out. <laughs> the thing is, I kind of did as well. I remember most of it, though. Anyway, I'm going to end today, this episode off here. Next time, we return to the Oasis in search of just finding... Oh, oh, hold on, never mind. What's that over there? Uh... Mario, right, take a look over there. This ground is quite literally shining. That's what we in academia call a giant clue. Perhaps something is buried here. Now, with your help, I should be able to excavate this site using a shovel. Just stand where you'd like me to begin and press down. Ah, right, you know what, sure. Up with you. A lot of coins. Ah, you see what I mean? We've struck treasure. I can dig in any soft ground like sand or dirt. Even if it's not shining, press down and I'll hop to it. Do be on the lookout for a suspicious places to dig, hmm? Right then. Now with that, I'm going to end this episode off here. Next time, we return to the Oasis and search a clues. The hotel seems to have some. Until then, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Bye!